वेलकम टू इंस्पायरिंग इनपुट्स आई होप दीज कोट्स अबाउट पॉजिटिविटी विल हेल्प यू गेट थ्रू एनी थिंग स्टे इंस्पायर्ड स्टे ब्लेस्ड आई एम डिटर्मिन टू बी चेयरफुल एंड हैप्पी इन वॉट एवर सिचुएशन आई मे फाइंड माई सेल्फ फॉर आई हैव लर्न that the greater part of our misery or unhappiness is determined not by our circumstance but by our disposition happiness depends more on the inward disposition of mind than on outward circumstances A cloudy day is no match for a sunny disposition. Could we change our attitude? We should not only see life differently, but life itself would come to be different. Life gives you plenty of time to do whatever you want to do if you stay in the present moment there is inside you all of the potential to be whatever you want to be all of the energy to do whatever you want to do I had to create good work habits and attitude. The difference between success and failure is often about 5% more effort. He who is of calm and happy nature will hardly feel the pressure of age it is better to build boys than mend men when you ask people what affects their well-being most they think of health and wealth What is the third metric beyond money and power? I think it's a combination of well-being and wisdom. Because the problem also with defining success just in terms of money and power means that people feel that they have to work around the clock. burnout and the result is people making terrible decisions the greatest contribution we can make to the well-being of those in our lives is to have peace in our own hearts now i know why yoga is so life giving for so many i have never experienced a practice that combines such physical challenge and spiritual well being in my life when we are in touch with our body we are attuned to our intuition needs and desires and will be in the best position to make evolutionary choices for our health and well-being what keeps things going what sustains families what makes work meaningful 
what contributes to our well-being and what really connects us to nature is cooperation for a very long time now i have been saying to young women you can have it all but not all at the same time how important it is to take very good care of yourself of your mental and physical and spiritual well-being it's hard to do it's easier to be a workaholic than to have a truly balanced life hope you like the content please share and subscribe thanks for watching the video your comments and suggestions are welcome have a great day ahead good luck